Hi everyone, this is Vegas and tonight I'm doing a video on long-term lotto option ideas. Many people ask me, can you give me a lotto? Can you help me? And the answer is, let me help you guys. You don't have to take anything I talk about, but I want to help you guys learn about long-term option ideas that can help grow an account. So let's get started. Okay, so the first option that we're going to look at is obviously this company here. Everyone should know it. McDonald's. Everyone uses McDonald's on Uber Eats. Maybe you don't eat McDonald's. That's fine. I mean, I don't really eat it myself. Maybe once a year. But you know what? I do like the Sundays and I do like the McFlurries. So I probably will eat more of it in the summer. Um, but you know what? Uh, let's talk about McDonald's because McDonald's is around $181.00 and 87 cents let's take a closer look so if we look at mcdonald's i mean you could see here today i'm showing you this on yahoo finance and i really like looking at historical prices and you could see here that on may the 4th obviously today the stock did close at 181.87 over 3 million shares but you can see here that if we go further back okay at one time i mean look at the stock i mean it was down at 160s the low 160s Oh my gosh, in the 150s, the 140s. But look at this. You know, at one time McDonald's was 200. Pay, pays very good dividends, by the way. And then, you know, you could see that the stock at one time, you know, 216, 217, 218 ish. I mean, look, the stock is definitely undervalued here. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, they've had to close this, the locations, a lot of it with the coronavirus. So you can see that McDonald's was in the 220s plus at one point and so i want to look at an opportunity that's really long term for you guys that has a, a risk okay every option trade comes at the risk but in my in this case i believe that this particular option trade is going to have a limited risk so let's go through what i'm going to talk about next okay so with mcdonald's you know one of the things that we want to review as well before we get started so I just want to make sure because a lot of beginners here listening and so I want to make sure just everyone knows that if you're buying a call, you're anticipating that the price of the stock is going to go up and if you're buying a put, you're going to anticipate that the price is going to go down. Don't even ask me who invented these names, but that is what they mean. So call means going up and put means you're going down. So one of the things we're looking at McDonald's, I mean, I did go over what the price of the stock is, you know, it's still under $200. And we know that part of the reason why it's like that a lot of stocks are undervalued right now, a lot of stocks have been losing revenue. And you know, this McDonald's is no different, you know, they don't have people can't go in there and sit down and eat. And they're having to order takeout or go through the drive through, but still they're losing money on um, the business. So Longer term, is McDonald's going to turn around? And the answer, in my opinion, is yes. So we are looking here, if you look at the options chain, and hopefully you have access to options. And if you don't, you can definitely set it up with your broker. And you can see here that we're looking at McDonald's. That is the symbol, MCD. And we're looking at calls. And we are looking for the expiry date of June 18, 2021. And I did select all the strikes because I kind of want to see what is happening a year from now. And we could see that already option traders out there are definitely buying option contracts for McDonald's for next year. And obviously, you know, you're not going to look at the ones that are in the hundreds of dollars. That's, you know, risky. And with a small account, you kind of want to start low. So you have in order to do that, you have to go, out, you know, far from the money. So right now we're looking to pick the 290 calls and we do have those in play. Uh, some people got them for 70 cents on Friday. You could see that today the ask was 61 cents. The bid is 50 cents, which is $50. And the last price that the option contract was sold for was $59. So you're looking at around $60. This could change tomorrow. So McDonald's is gonna be your trade idea for a long-term option trade now remember don't be expecting this to go up so fast this is why you're paying for the time and i really think the fact that you can get this time for such a good price is a great opportunity so let's now go on to the next trade idea 
Okay, so the next trade idea we're going to talk about is the ticker called GDX, and this stands for the gold miners. This is an exchange traded fund known as ETF. So that's what the letter ETF stands for, exchange traded fund. It is really the most liquid vehicle for investors or traders to really to get exposure to the gold miners. And what it does is this actual ETF tracks the performance of the gold miner index. And it usually has mostly Canadian and American gold miners listed in here. So as you probably know from listening to my videos, I really love to follow where is the money going. And we could see here today in particular, we are seeing some money coming into GDX. Now, are they buying? Are they selling? Well, I can tell you that usually at this time of the year, the month of May, it is kind of the season for the gold miners. So we are going to maybe assume that if this goes to $34 or more, that this is a buy of these shares. If it goes under um, $32, then we might assume that these are sellers. Again, we don't always know. But if it goes to $34 or more, it's going to be assumed that it is bullish and it is a buy. Now, if I look at the actual chart on GDX, you can see, you know, it had a spinning top today and it did also gap up. So to me, the gold miners have strength. So this GDX has some strength in here and you should definitely be paying attention. So I'm going to give you guys an option idea for a shorter term but still a very inexpensive low risk. This to me is definitely a lotto because it is super cheap. So let's go through that. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna put in here GDX. And what I wanna show you guys is how cheap these calls are, especially when you can get them far from the money. But you know, the goal here is to make money. You know, sometimes you can buy really cheap option contracts. And I gotta tell you, you're not gonna make any money. I've done it where I've actually bought some contracts because they were cheap and I've actually lost my investments. So I even bought contracts that were, let's say 10 cents. I bought 20 or 30 of them, a couple hundred bucks. And you know what? They went to zero and I lost my money. So don't assume that because it's cheap, it's a guaranteed winner. So I'm just letting you guys know. So anyhow, if we go here to GDX calls, I am looking for something around May 15. I want to get something when the next two weeks and let's see what we can get that's really cheap. So let's look at all the strikes for May 15. And you can see the open interest is really, really low, but here's where it gets interesting. If you go to the 2350 calls, I mean, these are already in the money. I mean, those are going for over $1,000. I am not putting in $1,000 for one contract. We wanna get a lotto play. So let's keep scrolling up and let's go down to, let's see here. These ones look great. These ones here for the $40. You can see that this has 18,500 contracts in here. So earlier today, we did take a trade here. And, you know, I don't expect this to run right away. But you know what? I think it'll gap up tomorrow. Um, but you could definitely keep a, an eye on this one here, the $40 uh, strike. It is a call. And the expiry date would be May the 15. And these are going for 7 to $8 per contract. Now, I want to just explain something. If you are a small account and you're going to start with this, I would suggest, in my opinion, you should consider at least a $25 investment in total for the contracts to actually feel like you're doing well with it. You could paper trade it as well. Uh, but I would get at least two to three contracts. If you get two, you're actually putting in less than $20. And I think that's a really nice risk reward on GDX um, ETF for the gold miners. So you can look at this one tomorrow, this one here for the $40 one. There's cheaper ones, but look guys, the volume's really bad. And why do I wanna go to all the way down to 42.50 when I can just get the $40, which have much more juicier volume. So that is your trade idea for the option lotto. Again, you have until May 15, 2020. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna be tracking these trades because I'm actually in both. And we're gonna actually do another video following up on these two in particular. Now, I would love to hear your comments and feedback 
on today's video. I also want to hear from you guys what you would like me to explain and teach you because the whole purpose and mission behind these videos is that you're learning. So I'm trying to explain things to you. I'm trying to give you ideas that are good, especially for small accounts and really trying to help you learn so that you can benefit and you can bank. So let's review for next week. So let's review these again in another week or two and I'll be updating you guys on these long-term lotto option ideas. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. I want to keep them short but educational. So please comment below, smash the like button, and let's make some money.